Hi, I'm Philip Gadsden, Director of Seafood for Harris Teeter. In this video, our chefs are going to be preparing citrus salmon gravlocks with pomegranate seed cream cheese, created with semi chardonnay. For this recipe, we're using fresh salmon from the fisherman's market at Harris Teeter. Moderately firm and oily with a sweet, robust flavor, our wild salmon is a perfect ingredient. All of our wild salmon is harvested from Alaska waters. The entire Alaska salmon fishery is the standard for world when it comes to fisheries management. In addition at Harris Teeter, our farm salmon is certified by Global Trust to the highest standard for salmon aquaculture. The standards that are used in our salmon production ensures minimal ecological impact to the environment that they're raised in. Whether farmed or wild, any salmon you like can be used for this recipe. Combined with the salmon, this recipe also features a great wine, Semi Chardonnay. This Sonoma County wine is filled with a hint of crisp acidity, citrus, and a pear flavor. It's not only an important ingredient for this recipe, but it's also a perfect complement to make a perfect meal. Hi, I'm Chef David with Harris Teeter, and I've got some great ingredients to work with today. We're working with some fresh salmon and a Semi Chardonnay two great ingredients that are going to make one great dish. I'm going to be doing a citrus salmon ravlox. And I'm going to start the dish by making my curing mixture, which is going to consist of sugar, sea salt, cracked pepper, and fresh chopped fennel. I'm going to take all these ingredients and I'm going to just mix them together. After I have these nicely mixed, I'm going to take some of this beautiful salmon, which I've already cut into fillets. I've tried to cut them into equal size portions in width so that they're going to sit nicely on top of each other. I'm going to take both of the fillets and I'm just going to cover them with our sugar and salt mixture. When you're curing an item, it's just like cooking something in the oven or on the stove top, only your cooking method is the salt and the acidic acid which we're going to be using in this recipe that's going to be coming from the wine and also the fruits that we're using. I'm going to give a nice generous portion of the salt and sugar over the top and you're going to think initially, wow, that's a lot. But most of this is just going to melt right through the salmon as it cures it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take oranges and put them to one side. And I've sliced these nice and thin so that they're going to let their juice out as it presses against the salmon. And then I'm going to take some pineapples that I've also sliced very thinly and I'm going to put it on the other side of the salmon. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold both sides together like a sandwich. I'm going to make a sandwich out of the gravlocks. So we're going to finish up by putting a little bit more of the curing mix on top of the salmon. And don't forget, as this sits in your refrigerator for a few days, you're going to need to have a plate that has sides on it because as it cooks, the moisture from the salmon is going to purge into the plate. Then I'm going to finish this off with about one and a half cups of the Semi Chardonnay. Then I'm going to take some saran wrap and I'm going to cover the whole dish. Remember to cover this tightly and apply some pressure as you do cover it as well. You're going to end up putting a few things on top of uh, a dish from within your refrigerator to add a little bit of pressure. The more pressure you can apply, the quicker the cure is going to happen. Okay, I've got that wrapped nice and tightly and I'm going to take it now and put it into the refrigerator. And here we are. Two full days later, our cured salmon looks fabulous. And with the raised edge bowl in the refrigerator, it didn't even make a mess. But before I reveal the salmon, I'm going to make the pomegranate seed cream cheese. And that's very easy. I've softened some Harris Teeter cream cheese. And I'm just going to mix it with a fork in the bowl, soften it just a little bit more. And then I'm going to add my pomegranate seeds, which can be found in our farmer's market and some of our semi chardonnay and I'm going to mix it until it's smooth. So here is the big reveal on our gravlox made with the semi chardonnay which I think worked perfectly in this dish. It helped with the curing process. It really added a lot of flavor and as you can see this salmon is just beautiful. What I like to do is I like to find the grain of the salmon and slice against the pattern of the salmon so that my pieces don't break up. And I'm just going to slice nice thin pieces at a slight angle. And as you can see, 
This is cured perfectly. And once again, curing is a, is a cooking method. So this isn't a raw product. This is a fully cooked product as if you steamed it or baked it in the oven, only it's been cooked through the acidic acid and the salts and the sugars. Doesn't that just look beautiful? And accompanied by the pomegranate seed cream cheese with the semi chardonnay, it is perfect. And there we are, a citrus salmon gravlax with a semi chardonnay. What could be more perfect? Enjoy.